Shout out to Kaka, folks. Sound of the line. A homo. Let's talk. We're going to talk about something today that um, a lot of people don't talk about. Most of the older brothers that play bass and older sisters that play bass, they don't talk about this. But today we are going to. All right. So, what happens when you're, you've been playing for 40 years, 45 years, 30 years, 20 years, and all of a sudden you're... Hearing goes a little bad. All right. We will... <laughs> to all the young brothers and sisters that's out there right now that's not hearing what we have to say about these things or personally, you know, ear safety stuff. If I do this to you, Ah! <laughs> can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh yeah, you can hear me. But the first thing you do is turn around and look at you. I suppose that has been happening to you for the last 20 years. Um, or 30 years. Or 40 years. Or 50 years. Uh, what I noticed that even happened, uh, even happened to my own, you know, father is, is that back in the day, PA system was not a plus, you know, you, they had them, but most of the stuff, you know, doing the bands, doing the back in the day, they didn't use PA system like they're using it today. So what happened is they play very loud. And as they're playing very, as a bass player, you're playing very loud, your amp is directly behind you. Most of the time you use an Ampeg, SVT kind of thing, you know, big jump and this is what it's doing to you in your eardrum that's your eardrum this is what this is what your amp is doing to your eardrum steadily after years and years of that you start to lose your hearing right Here's the bad part that I'm beginning to see nowadays dealing with the older bass players, including my own father, um, that has to wear hearing aids. You get to the point of you depend on something that's not there anymore. So you, you're you're thinking a note. Let's take this for instance. All right, I'm, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this. All right. Look, I'm going to use it because the customer ain't, ain't sent for it yet. All right, so I'm going to use this word. So the way things are moving right now, okay, so you hear, you're playing this. Okay, got it. But because your hearing is bad, um, you, you're hearing this milliseconds later. You hear this milliseconds later. So milliseconds later puts you right here. Because by the time you play this and it's already gone, the other note is already there. So you pretty much still playing this. In other words, what are you what are you what are you saying? I'm saying you don't hear it in time because you don't have your hearing apparatus on. And because you don't have it on, you're hearing the note late which is not good. So the way music are played nowadays, um, very fast, very on it. I'm not gonna make this too long, but I, I want to get your attention. Your attention is protect your hearing. That's the first thing. Youth, young bass players, uh, protect your hearing. You know, you, know, you wanna play loud, you wanna play deep, I get it. You want to drop down 18, you know, levels and and make sure everybody in the audience hear you. I get it. If you find yourself turning your monitor up um, in your in ear to where it it can be heard by somebody sitting 
five feet away from you, you have an issue. Never be afraid to go get your hearing checked. That's the thing that's happening nowadays. People are not going to get their hearing checked because they don't want people to know that they're losing their hearing because they're afraid they're going to lose their jobs. They're not going to be able to play. Um, or, you know, keep the gig that they got. I often hear folks come by my house, which is shameful to say, with the music so loud that inside my shop stuff is vibrating you may think that's a cool thing to be honest with you you're inviting people to your car that you um, <clears throat> don't want in your car to take what you got second thing is your hearing is completely going you can you can bad you can bang banged and banged and and battered until you're you know i said battered <laughs> okay that was funny to me but your but your your ear is beginning to get mutilated that's what it is it's just you it just get mutilated because it's just getting it gets to the point where it's, it don't want to hear anymore it just started folding up man and your hearing begins to lose um it's a shame and you know I'm, I'm beginning to hear a lot of uh and see a lot of youth especially in your ear um if you just so happen to pick up one of them uh ear muffs or in ear you plug into their in ear and you see that they got it on 10 something is wrong and you need to tell them get your hearing checked. And if they don't, they don't get it checked, they'll eventually lose it anyway. So why lose your your hearing and you won't be able to play at all? So you're an incredible player, but you can't hear what you're playing. Uh, I had one gentleman tell me that, oh yeah, I'm, I'm just reading the notes. Well, you read the notes, but you still can't hear them. You can't hear the changes. That that's that that don't make any sense to me. Um. Just cause you came to rehearsal and they wrote your notes out and you reading your notes, but you can't hear the, the beat or the timing or even the note that you're playing. So how, you know, suppose your bass go out of tune while you're playing and you can't hear it. We got an issue. All right. So I'm, I'm saying folks today, hmm, I'm saying it cause I love you and that I need you to go get your hearing checked. And if you don't want to get it checked, I ain't mad at you. I'm just I'm just upset with you. <laughs> because we got to help each other. That's what we do on, on, on this base channel. I give you things that you need to know. Because I want you to know. Hootie here. Now, let's look at Hootie. He'll never lose his hearing. If he does, he's losing his ear. His ear big enough where he can hear the other side. <laughs> I saw Same thing with getting your eyes checked. Get your eyes checked too. Get all this stuff checked. Go get a physical, guys. You young ladies. Everybody. Alright, I had to say that because I just felt that in my spirit to say that this morning, guys. And I'm hoping and praying that you do go get your hearing checked and your eyes checked and even your heart checked or your blood pressure checked you know and a lot of people i see on facebook are having carpal tunnel all right go get that checked folks if you have nerve problems go get it checked all right see if we can fix it before it gets out of place i love you guys with all my heart all my soul all my mind <laughs> shut up Charlie on Hobo Deep. <laughs> Keep praying for the Queen and I. Keep praying for the Hobo Depot. That we may be a watering hole for all of you. That nobody will go unknown. Knowledge is power.